All right, guys, before we get into today's video previewing uh, the Bengals game, let's go down through uh, the injury report, the final injury report before tomorrow's game. Mike Pouncey, Arian Foster, and Jerome Cameron will not play on Thursday Night Football. Jelani Jenkins, Koa Misi will definitely not play. I don't think they'll play. They're at least, uh, Jelani's list is doubtful. Koa is, uh, is uh, rolled out, and I think Jelani was rolled out recently, so those two aren't going to play. So it'll be Neville uh, and Donald Butler starting uh, in place of them. Uh, and also... For the Cincinnati Bengals, Tyler Eifert and cornerback Dre Kirkpatrick Hamstring both were listed as doubtful. So those are the two biggest names on the Bengals side who may miss the game on Thursday night. So before we get into anything, I think for the first three weeks of the season, you kind of get a good look of how your team, what your team's actually really good at and what your team's really not needs to work on. Uh, so let's let's run down the Dolphins' rankings in, in the NFL. So we're in points, average points a game, we're 20th in the NFL. Average yards a game, we're 17th. Pass yards a game, we're 10th. So we're top 10 in the NFL in that. And rush yards a game, we are 25th. So, and I think we should look at the Bengals' ones too. It's kind of very similar, actually. It's kind of weird. Uh, they they average 18 points a game, so we're better than that. Yards a game, they're 11th. So they're a little bit, they're a little bit like they're like 20 yards better than uh, at us than that. Pass yards, they're seventh in the NFL in that, and rush yards, they're 27th. So they're kind of like the same team as us. They struggled running the ball. But they're really good at passing the football. Um, and their run defense is 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 absolutely t uh, or not their run defense, their uh, run offense is uh, just as you know needs to get going hopefully that doesn't happen against us which we're obviously ranked in the bottom of the league in the nfl and rush off uh rush defense so th what this game is going to really come down to is can the dolphins overcome injuries obviously we're missing uh, our starting center and our backup center anthony steen so more and more than likely craig ubrick or however you say his name will start uh that game <sighs> i mean i just you know craig he didn't play a bad game against the browns i kind of got upset uh, because I thought he, uh, now me going back and watching, he actually did not too bad of a job, uh, but that's going to be a problem going against Geno Atkins, um, one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL, so as long as our pass, like, I've, this has been every week, as long as our pass, or as long as our, uh, pass protection is good, then we have a really good chance of winning this football game, uh, and obviously we have to get the run game going somehow, and it's not even like, just convert your third and shorts, we're one of the worst team, we, teams in the NFL converting third and ones and we get so many of them we got so many against Cleveland and we just could not convert them if we can convert them against Cincinnati then we can keep drives alive and score some more points uh, and it's, it's funny because we had so many third ones in Cleveland we God only knows how many points we actually would have scored we probably scored like 40 something points so uh, you know it is what it is hopefully we can correct some of those things and get the run game going uh, on defense we just have to stop the, the passing game uh, we have to get them in third and longs and get them off the football field we cannot no and I'm sick and tired of seeing it on third we get them in back up against their goal line or they're in like a second and 15 second and 13 they draw it they run it up the gut for a big gain and it's now a third and short we can't do that as a defense and we have to stop that obviously if Tyler Eifert plays that's going to be a huge matchup with Kiko Alonso or Rashard Jones we're going to have to stop that especially in the red zone there he's they're by far their number one red zone target uh aj green byron maxwell has to clean up his act against aj green uh this is this is a polished receiver who can beat you deep not only with slants and little under outs like uh terrell Pryor can uh he he actually has a quarterback that's gonna bomb it deep get you on some double moves and byron maxwell says byron maxwell has uh struggled in his whole career on recovery on recovering on double moves and if you watch the Julio Jones him versus it's pretty sad but so uh th throughout, throughout the season Byron Maxwell not played very well our defensive line has to stop the run I think that's the number one thing we're second to last in the NFL to the Saints which is terrible if you think about like look think about that for a second we're only the, wor the, the we're the only thing that's worse than us is the Saints so that's pretty crap and terrible uh we have we just have to stop the run against the Cincinnati Bengals uh, offense I said this last week and one of the huge one of the biggest reasons that uh, that Cleveland offense even scored any points was because of Terrell Terrell Pryor, and I don't think our defense was ready for that, and and the intelligence of our defense has to improve. Uh, I mean, Vance was talking about if you watched uh, yesterday's press conferences, he was talking about today, and same thing on the offense side of the ball. We just we just cannot, we just miss way too many assignments, and that's what's killing us right now. And, and I think if we just don't make any bonehead mistakes, I think we'll be totally fine. 
Hopefully we come out there with some passion uh, and have fun, man. I, I, hopefully, I think we have a good chance of winning this football game uh, as long as our offense can score, convert third and shorts, get the run game going, and not have to force it. Uh, and just it just comes naturally. I think I think we'll be okay. So uh, that is gonna be it, guys. I am Sky Extra Trinity Three. Can't wait for Thursday night football, and I'll see you guys in the next one.